ruined this pick for life. Now, after TFCon, I finally had time to sit down and uh, do these reviews for the TFCon quote-unquote exclusives. Some of them are not so much so. Um, but I wanted to first start with my favorite of the bunch, which is MMC's reformatted R41 Ultio, the Senator, or their version of Senator Ratbat, which um, is a remold or retool of their wing or arrow. But let's get right into it. So this is the bat box. Um, pretty standard, no flip open window or anything like that. Everything on the side is pretty standard, just renders or images. On the back, you do get a lot of product images of him in his robot mode, uh, which is interesting, but then you can see various versions or, um, I guess, options for his alt mode, which I really like. And you may not be able to tell just from looking at it that it is a, a heavy retool. So uh, when we look at it, um, in the actual packaging, out of packaging itself, you'll notice that it has a lot of remolded parts. So from what I was told from MSC, they remolded about 50% of the parts. And you'll be able to tell that when we do a comparison with um, wing or arrow throughout the review. So out of packaging, we do get the standard um, clamshell. We also get a set of instructions. This time it doesn't come with a comic, I guess because it's kind of a quote unquote exclusive. Actually, it's more of, more of an early release, so you should be able to get this no problem down the line. Uh, but no comic. He does come with his plastic stat card, as usual, with his stats. And out of packaging, you also get um, what appears to be only two accessories. It's actually four because each of these is a removable a set of claws that you can um, use later. We'll show that off, but they're pegged in. Uh, so out of packaging, he's he's formed like this. Uh, to get him into some kind of semblance of a robot uh, alt mode, you want to flip up these sides here and then peg in these wing tips, which are also obviously uh, blades that he can use uh, as melee weapons in robot mode. But this is what he looks like. He does have a set of skids that can fold away or fold out, and then they can fold in as well, if you'd like. Uh, additionally, those claws that we saw before can act like skids, I think, if you fold these out. That's the only reason why I would see the need for these things to rotate out. But here we go. And it's a really interesting alt mode. It kind of reminds me of, uh, it's some kind of spaceship, but off the top of my head, it kind of reminds me of like an F-Zero ship. Oh, sorry about the squeaking. It just looks really nice. I like this kind of, I don't know, C-shaped or I don't know, W-shaped look to them. And like I said, in the product images, they show a lot of alternate configurations. You can just spread these out to have more of like, a, I guess, of a jet look, look. And then you can make use of the transformation joint here to actually scooch these back, each of the wings back on a double hinge and peg them further back towards the thrusters. And again, you can get just a, a different type of look from that, both like this and down like so. Yeah, my, my, my preference is probably what they show as kind of the standard one, which is down here like this with the, with the blades facing forward. Uh, as far as other playability in alt mode, he does have that cockpit, which opens up just slightly. You can't really fit anything in there. It's just really for design. Um, and that's really it. There's not much else going on in alt mode, like most alt modes. The only comparison I will do is with his mold mate. Here he is with wing. Oh, I should have taken out his front skid. What? Whatever, you get the idea. And you can see just how remolded it is. It looks completely different in this mode. Um, you can see some similarities, like this part here, a lot of the back panel up there, but the sides, the thrusters, um, these kneecap sections here, or shoulder uh, sections here, are the only real thing that stand out as it being very identical. Yeah, this whole front section here, the, the, the front nose cone, the fuselage, the wings obviously, um, completely different. On the bottom is where you start seeing a little bit more of the similarities here, the thighs and the, the hips um, primarily, and the forearms. But 
They said 50% um, plus remolded parts. Uh, I'm going to tend to believe them. And like I said, this is my favorite of the bunch. Not because I have really any attachment to Senator Ratbat. Um, it's not a character that I really have any interest in. But it just looks really nice. This purple with pink and gold uh, just works really well. And uh, and the black. Yeah, purple and... Well, is it black? Oh yeah, it is black. Okay, I thought it might be just a really, really dark purple or blue or something like that. And the gold detail. So it looks quite nice. And again, the just the aggressiveness of the, this alt mode and the options you have, I think it's just kind of really cool. They could have went uh, way less to get a pretty effective center wrap bat, but they went above and beyond, which is nice. So um, that's really it for the alt mode. Let's go ahead and get into transformation. Uh, let's start off with these panels on the back. As I showed before, they do rock back on a set of double hinges and tab in here and here. Oops, sorry. My right one tends to be a little bit loose. This one. There we go. Um, next up, you wanna untab this section here. Lift that up. Lift these up. You can come to the back here and untab what are, end up being the toes. And the shoulder sections rotate up on a hinge at the shoulder joint, like that. You can bring the arms down, like that. And then these pieces will fold back down like they were when we first started. All right, so um, we can bring the arms down, close these up, close that up. Uh, you can rotate the, at the bicep to get his arms situated correctly and then we'll work with the, the bottom section here um, you could have actually started down here as well I just kind of like working with the shoulders just because they get all in the way uh, rotate these pieces out like this and this is where it starts getting very different so first let's untab this piece here be careful with this hinge it is clear plastic um, it does release pretty easily but don't just like wrench up on that just be a little bit careful there so here's where it's very different. Instead of just splitting the legs, this is actually an over-under section, and this entire piece on the back of the leg is is a new back inside of the leg. So this goes over that piece. You're gonna want to bring one. You can bring one of these all the way around, tab that in, close this up, and then rotate this down. The foot is the same. Just straighten out the toe. This whole ankle piece you can see is on a rocker that's in the calf. Rotate the heel down, and there's one leg. Same thing with the other side. Get this all the way around. The, the knee locks in. Let's get the foot down, like so. There are tabs on the back of the hips or thighs, depending on how you want to talk about it. Just pull them down or forward, I guess, to release them. Pull these hip skirts to the side. Rotate at the waist 180 degrees. And then we can deal with the upper body. So the upper body works in that you open this up. This section here, you want to open these panels. Get this rotated around the big shoulder pieces here. That will make the head reveal itself. And you can squeeze this in. Retab the chest and rotate the head forward. You can do with the, the hip skirts um, on the side or scab, where the scab is, however you'd like. I like just kind of angling them back like that. Get these pieces down like so. And we have centered right back in robot mode. One other optional piece, which is kind of a leftover, is it's kind of gappy here. If you want, you can go ahead and fill this up a little bit. It doesn't really do much. It's really for holding the sword for wing or, or drift. Um, I just leave mine up though, but yeah, here is Altio in robot mode. And he looks really, really nice. Um, I did see somebody and I, I, I apologize. I don't remember who it was. Somebody did a cool repaint uh, or digivash of this into Serpentor, like a Serpentor from GI Joe and I need to have that. I'm not even a huge G.I. Joe fan, but with the gold and, and green colors, 
with this kind of cape looking thing that that really did that was a really perfect version or reuse of this mold i would love to see that come out as an, another tfcon exclusive or exclusive down the line but yeah he looks really good uh let's go ahead and show you some of his optional weapons so the wings can come out and you can peg them into the hands as swords either of them you can dual wield that uh, alternatively oops sorry about that alternatively you can go ahead and oh it's falling down let me get his ankles actually angled so that there we go so you can actually come underneath here and just wiggle this hinge it's tightly in there. There's a peg that attaches these claw-like pieces. And as you might imagine, he's going to be able to use these as melee weapons. So um, let's plug this back in here. And it's supposed to be kind of an undergrip. You can use it as an upper grip, but it just looks better as an undergrip. And he has claws, and he can do that for both, which is, again, very, very cool looking. I'm going to attach that again. Yeah, and that just stores right back where it was before. You can have it come out like this as well. I don't know why you would really want to. Maybe that was for alt mode, but you can have that rotate around. Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint. His shoulders are on a hinge, but also on a ball joint. So you can make use of both of those. A really big ball joint here, so you can go all the way around. Bicep, swivel, double jointed elbows, and then a ball jointed wrist. The ball joint actually goes into the forearm itself. He does have a waist swivel, uh, no ab crunch. He does have these ball joints and the hinges on the side, so you can kind of angle these down and back or however, however you would like. Uh, they were the scabbards for the previous use of the mold. His hip skirts do move out of the way, so you can get good friction joints going forward and back and out to the side. He does have uh, a double knee bend or double knee hinge. Uh, you're going to get this kind of interference here. That is one of the limitations of having that extra remolded piece. And then down at the foot, as we saw before, he does kind of have that this weird calf articulation and then a ball jointed angle, uh, ankle ball jointed toe, and the heel piece that's on a hinge or on a pin. But that's it. Give me a quick second. I'll go ahead and bring in Arrow so you can see what he looks like next to his uh, mold mate. All right, here we are with both of these guys in their robot mode. And again, you can see um, a lot of it is the same, you know, kind of the, the thighs, the inner kind of frame is the same, but the exterior, like the chest, the head sculpt, clearly, uh, even the shins and stuff like that are vastly different, right? So uh, the shoulder pieces, you can see all this extra stuff here, the scabbards. So there's a lot going on that is very different than before. So even the, even these thruster pieces are very different. But yeah, just wanted to show that off really quickly. Um, we went through articulation, we went through comparison, so I think that's really it, uh, aside from getting him back into robot, uh, alt mode and finishing off the review. So let's go ahead and deal with the chest and upper body first. Oops. That was weird. So uh, open this up. Get this out like that. Open up the chest as well. I like flipping the head backwards just so you don't see it from the underside. Not that you're really going to be looking at um, the alt mode from the underside a lot, but I like doing that. Flip these panels in. Uh, just be careful here, just because his little ear pieces or whatever you want to call them, um, they can um, get uh, jammed up in there. So just be very careful. Close this up. We're gonna fold this like this for now. We don't need to go it all the way because they do, they do need to tab in. So let's just leave that like so. Open up 
these sections rotate at the shoulders. Let's get these side bits out of the way and down. And now I like having the fist turned so that on the back, from the back, you don't see anything. If you don't turn them, they're going to look like pans. So fold that like that. And like that. All right. Uh, let's rotate at the waist 180 degrees real quick while we're here. All right. So I find it easier to go ahead and deal with these hip skirts first. Like so, get them together like that, and then go ahead and bring the arms down on those, um, those that hinge and that ball joint. And they do have a small tab right there, and the slot that goes into the side of their the body. Oops, I forgot to rotate this fist. There we go. So once we have that done, now we can come to here and tab in this back plate on both the left and the right side here, which stabilizes everything in the back. All right, let's keep going. So I want to deal with this piece here first. Oh, actually, no, we want to kind of get this freed up. So open this up. Un uh, break the locking here. Get the heel up like that. Remember, you have to articulate at this hinge and get it down like so. And curl the toe up. So from here, now we can go ahead and tab that in. Bring this all the way around. And this toe tab will tab into the front of this thruster like so. This will come down like that. And then we'll just wait and do that other side as well. So again, open this up, unlock the knee. As you're coming around, flip this heel piece around, this toe up, and then angle this back. So it all sits nicely like so. Now we'll go ahead and straighten out the leg so that that tab on the back of the hip goes in. Fold this in until we get the toe tabbed in, like so. Bring this around, over and under here. Close up the front half with these tabs. There we go. Rock the kind of butt flap piece. It has a series of tabs in the back here and in the front. Close this up. Uh, you might need to wiggle this around a bit so that this piece actually resides in the heel. The angle piece here. And there we go. We are back in his alt mode. So, so uh, that's it for the transformation. Final thoughts. Um, like I said at the beginning of the review, this is definitely my favorite of the TFCon uh, DC 2019 exclusives. I just think it looks really nice. It's again one of those characters that we probably would never see otherwise if they didn't do remolds. Um, but it just looks really, really sharp. The gold, the remolded detail, the pink. Um, I like the number of different playability options and just oh, sorry. If you want to do that, you can bring this forward as well. I guess I should mention that. Yeah, like the this this different um, like I guess options and playability when it comes to the alt mode is really nice as well as the robot mode with the different accessories the claws the um the blades and so forth so if you're going to do a remold do it like this this is just really sharp looking uh, i really do hope that they do a recolor of the serpentor um otherwise i guess it will exist in my dreams or I'll, i would have to find somebody to commission a, a custom for that in any case, that's it for the first exclusive review that I'll be doing for TFCon DC 2019. The others will be coming. Uh, the only one I won't be doing is the um, 
Planet X Grim G2 Grimlock because I don't have one of those, unfortunately. But hopefully this review helped you make it, made a decision. You can pick this guy up. Um, like I said, it wasn't really a quote-unquote exclusive. He will be available at your other re retailers um, pretty soon if it isn't already. All right. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get to that as soon as possible. If you liked the review and it helped you out, please give, give it a, a like, a thumbs up, a share, or subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll be back with some more reviews very soon. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a good one.